Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from beautiful Belmont Park, Elmont, New York on Thursday afternoon, October the 6th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Naira, New York Racing Association Race of the Day. Let's take a look at Race 2 this afternoon, folks. 1.32 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half furlongs on the dirt track. Two-year-old fillies race for a maiden special weight purse of some $51,000. Contenders number three, Illegally Blonde, number two, Disposable Pleasure, number one, Holiday's Jewel, and number five, Vacationing. Number three, Illegally Blonde, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a slight class drop, has been a power run performer in each of her three career starts to date. She's the daughter of Mineshaft, whose progeny have hit the board in 44% of more than 2,100 combined lifetime starts to date. Jockey Manuel Cruz and trainer Ken McPeak sent the post this afternoon. They fit the board with 52% of more than 125 entries saddled as a team to date. The morning line favored is number two disposable pleasure as both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this maiden field. Racing at her about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Comes off a power run place finish in her last start. Race two summary number three illegally blonde. Tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, Disposable Pleasure, number one, Holiday's Jewel, and number five, Vacationing. That's 3215 in the second from Belmont Park. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race three. Number four, Despite All My Rage, an eight to one shot, drops in class by eight track master units. Is the speed leader in this field, racing at her about tonight's distance of nine furlongs on the dirt. Hawthorne, race five, the nine to two shot. Number eight, Boss Alley, a track master plus power pony qualifier, takes a class drop. Nice overall speed for this nine furlong route test on the turf. So from Belmont Park on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.